Hello everyone, my name is Virginia Zambuko. I'm going to show you how we can use Explico to capture network traffic. Explico is a network forensic analysis tool that is used to reassemble or reconstruct uh, captured network traffic. Here I'm running a virtual machine. I've uh, configured um, Ubuntu and I'm also using Explico. So first let's check if... Uh, the Explico is up and running by typing service Explico status. And uh, the Explico web interface is running. So now, so now we need to log into Explico and we are going to use uh, the default port which is localhost 9876. And the username for Explico, I'm going to go with the default Explico. And for the password, I'm going to use the Explico. So now this is the Explico web interface. And uh, now what we are going to do is I'm going to start by creating a new case. And I'm going to show you first how we can upload and interpret uh, uh, results from, an, from a PCAP file. So the first case is going to be case 1. And from the case one, I'm going to create a new session and I'm going to call this session, session one. And from this session, uh, I've clicked the session and it has taken me to the Explico dashboard and here all the protocols are showing zeros. No web file has been uploaded. So now I'm going to browse for a file. I've already downloaded in, in a, a PCAP file. And let's open this one and now I'm going to upload it so uh, now it has started uh, to decode this may take a little while depending on the size of the file so the decoding will allow us to to have a PK file into easily searchable categories within Explico so once it's finished the status is going to read uh, decoding completed So here our decoding is completed and here we can see we've got various hosts but for this illustration I'm going to use all hosts and as shown here we now have data under the various protocols. Now let's uh, visualize um, the, the, the left as you can see we've got a left uh, interface from the left interface we've got various categories well we'll start off with the DNS so under the DNS, we can see that we've got the date, which is showing uh, the time at which uh, the query was sent. We also have a host, which presents the domain name for which the IP was requested. We have a scene name, which uh, presents the requested IP address. And we also have info. And under info, we have got a uh, detailed uh, analysis. And uh, from this detail, we can see we've got a UDP source port. 41350, UDP destination port 53, IP proto 17, IP source 10.0.215, IP destination 194.179.1.100, and um, we can also view the ARP. The ARP and which is the address resolution protocol. We can see we've got a mark, we've got an IP, and we can also go granular by selecting a specific uh, mark here. Uh, paste it under search and click go. So these are the mark uh, that we accessed at this particular date, and they've got this uh, the, 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 this IP. And we can also uh, view the geomap whereby we are able to view various locations using uh, Google Maps. We can also view uh, the web. Under web, we can see the various sites that were accessed. And uh, this is uh, showing the date, uh, the URLs, um, the size, the method. And for this one, the method was the get method. We can also visualize the various 
if there were any images, any flash, any video. We can also we, uh, view the various images which are shown here. We can also check to see if there were any email and there were no emails. Under webmail, we can see there were some webmails as shown here. This was the sender, this was the receiver, the service, and the size of the files. And uh, we also have a uh, VOIP, which is the voice of IP. And under the voice of IP, this is uh, we have an SIP, and uh, which is uh, the session initiation protocol. And for the session initiation protocol, there's no information. We can also check whether uh, the type of files that were used for sharing. We can also uh, uh, view the various uh, chatting platforms. As shown here, we've got Facebook. We can click Facebook just to see. And we have got one user under Facebook. And we can also look for the undecoded files. And um, these are plenty. And there are only two files in red, which is this one and this one, which were decoded. And uh, now I've uh, finished uh, to show you how we can uh, analyze a PCAP file. Now I'm going to create a new case. And for this new case, I want to show you how we can use uh, the live acquisition. So the case name is going to be live case. And from the live case, I'm going to create a new session. And I'm going to name this session a live session. So for the live session, okay, let me click. I've created uh, the live session. So now what I'm going to do, I have already downloaded my EtherCAP file. Sorry, my EtherCAP package. So this is uh, used for analyzing a uh, man in the middle attack. So for this one, I'm going to authenticate it first. So this is my ether cap. So what I want to do, I want to sniff. So I'm going to select a uh, unified sniffing and I'm going to use network interface ether. So here I want to scan for hosts. And I want to see the host list. So I'm going to select this host to target one. And I'm going to put this host and I'm going to add this host to target two. And after this, I'm going to select app uh, poisoning and I'm going to uh, select this um, optional parameter. And uh, after I've done this, I'm going to click uh, start sniffing. And now I'm going back to my to my explico here here you, we can see there's no uh, data we all have zeros as shown here so I'm going to click the ether and I'm also going to click start so after I've clicked start I'm going to go on the web and I'll type um, let me search for TikTok. So under TikTok, uh, let's see the TikTok images. So these are the various images that we can find on TikTok. We have got this being used as wallpapers.
we can also check uh, on the logo Uh, so we are assuming that a user is uh, surfing the internet. They are looking at uh, TikTok, various images. We have got cute. Yeah. So after we have uh, done this, I'll go back to my explico and I'm going to click stop. So as shown here, we can see that under the DNS, uh, ARP ICMP v6, uh, we have got a captured network. So uh, what we can do right now, uh, we can uh, go to where we have uh, got the DNS, uh, which is here. And we can see that uh, today is uh, 11, uh, it's, it's sorry, today is 5 November 2022. And uh, this is uh, the captured uh, network traffic that we have. We have got uh, uh, the host, which is apis.google.com. We have got the C name. We have got the IP address. And we can also check uh, the actual detail. And uh, for this one, uh, we were under the UDP. The source port was 63. The destination port was 62243. 62, the IP port, we can see the IP port is written here. We can also visualize um, the ARP. And under ARP, we have no information. We can also go to the web. And click uh, site and here we have got no uh, data as shown from the dashboard so uh, we can also check the undecoded and we can see that uh, for the uh, live uh, that I've, I've just illustrated uh, we have got uh, undecoded uh, data and so that's it uh, for explico so uh